All right, guys, welcome back to Strong Successful Mail. So for today in the Ask SSM video series, got an entertaining email that was sent from a subscriber. This is a young guy, sounds like he's probably about 22 years old. He's just finishing up his last year in college, and he's writing in to both share his story with you guys, but also ask for help from both me and the community about a little dilemma he has. You see, as he shares his story, you're going to see that he started off college four years ago as a typical nice guy. The nice guy who, when he likes a girl, instead of just being a man asking her out and behaving in a manner that we can all agree with, he decided to go through the friendship route. Be become the girl's friend, the, the object of his affection, and show her just how much of a nice guy he is, go to all her sporting events and watch her do her thing, listen to all her problems, fix her problems, that type of thing. And to no surprise, she's not interested. She's interested in his friend who does none of that. This guy eventually learns and finds my work and starts putting all his energy into self-improvement, doing well in school, hitting the gym, all that, and he pretty much was done with her. And take a wild guess who's now chasing after him. No surprise there. Stop being the nice guy friend and they chase after you. A guy on his purpose. And so he's writing in wondering, you know, hey, how should I handle this? Because Oh, and by the way, she likes him so much and wants to make him hers, an exclusive relationship, that she's been hooking up with him left and right. Friends of benefit situation. So he's now wondering, what should I do? I still kind of like her. Should I make her my girlfriend? Whatever. So I'm going to go through a story here. Use his really good story to illustrate why you don't be relationship guys, of course. Don't go that route to be the nice guy friend because it's never going to work. And also other important lessons in this story. So definitely a good one for you dating and relationship guys out there because I know i got plenty of you to watch me. He says, hello SSM. I'm your subscriber for a long time now and I want to share my story with you. I started in my college years and I was a very optimistic and hopeful person who had no problem making new friends at a new place and the first year went smoothly. Well, I can tell by your email you're right outgoing guy and have no problem making friends. The problem is that you were the nice guy that used that route to go for the girl, to try to rope in the girls you really liked, and that never works. After the first year, I chose biology as my main subject, and I was in a new class with new classmates, and that's where I met her. Let's just call her Jay. She was very attractive. She had a beautiful face, long, smooth hair, dark eyes, and amazing figure. She was a perfect dark beauty. The minute I saw her, I fell for her. Smack. Honest to God, man, I thought I was going to barf there. Talk about putting her up on the pedestal. You can just say she was a hot piece of ass and left it at that. But he's making the point how he thought she was just an angel sent down from heaven for him from God. She's just some chick. He had a whole university of girls, I'm sure, equally as good looking and play them walking around the face of the earth. But that's how nice guys think. I got a seat next to her and saw it as a chance to get closer to her. I talked with her and we became friends very quickly. Smack! Friendship ain't the, the route to get the girl you really want. Uh, after that, we would talk before and after classes. I'm sure she was gossiping with you and talking about her problems and asking you to help her with her homework or whatever. I consider myself lucky to be friends with her. Smack! How about she's lucky to be friends with you? You're a prize, you're a catch, right? But this is the mentality nice guys have. Oh, I'm so fortunate that Her Highness here was uh, giving me attention. She's one chick, no big deal, but he's young, inexperienced at the time, he didn't know. I'm just having fun with him. Uh, because she has no nonsense, tough as nail, nail sharp as whip personality. After one month, I started to go to her house for group study. She has a black belt in Taekwondo and Karate, so I often went to her tournaments to cheer for her. Smack! Dude, if you liked her so much, why didn't you ask her out? And if she said no, okay. Then you know, instead of all this bullshit. You can't tell me as a young man in college that you don't have precious time to do other things than go watch her whip some butts for some points at a Taekwondo tournament. I'm sure those things are entertaining. I know those things are entertaining, but still... You're actually the classic nice guy, just being there, listening to her, be hanging out as her friend, going and watching her do her athletic stuff. Because I guarantee the guys that she really likes aren't doing any of that. Uh, she wasn't great in study and often failed in many subjects. So why would you want a dumbass girl? Seriously. 
I'm no genius, but I was very good at my subjects, and I started helping her, and because of that, she passed in all her subjects. Now, if she was some 400-pound, hideous-looking job of the hut chick, would you be helping her pass her subjects? No, you're doing this because you wanted to date her. But you were doing the thing that we're all, not all, but a lot of guys do, where I'm going to show this girl who I like so much just how much of a nice guy I am. And she'll one day realize I'm so nice and so amazing that she'll just be dying to go out with me. Don't work that way. After three months, she opened up about her past. Who cares about her fucking past? You want to sleep with her. Her mother died three years prior, and her father was ill most of the time. Her father's business was on the rocks, and her uncle also took his own life two years prior. Well, I'm sorry to hear that about her mom and, and her, the uncle and the dad, and that's a tough situation. But again, you're in the friend zone, my man. You didn't realize it at the time, but you're in the friend zone. She'll keep you around to listen to her problems and all. And meanwhile, be chasing after the guys that don't do that. After hearing that, I had a lot of pity for her and treated her so well. Of course you did. I always talked great things to her and made her feel like a princess. Smack, smack, smack. Dude, would you sleep with you after all that? I know I deserve a smack. Dude, you got three of them just right then and there. My hand's getting sore from all the smacks. Before a year, I used to watch your videos and had a functioning head on my shoulders. But her beauty and her sad lifestyle completely deleted all the wisdom. Smack. You telling me you were watching me, but then you met her, and all that shit went right out the door because you were so mesmerized by her angelic beauty? Young brother. Don't worry, guys. Things imp if you're still here and haven't thrown up yet, our young brother here will get the point. But he has to take a serious... Punch in the gut, if you will, to wake up to reality. I basically simped over her, calling her beautiful and a great person. Smack! Did you actually tell her she's beautiful and great person? She's probably like, Oh, you're so nice. You're such a good friend. That's probably what she said. It was after five months when everything changed. Five months you wasted doing this bullshit. In a conversation with her, I found out that she has always considered me as a great friend. Of course. And to make things worse, she had a crush on one of my friends. Let's just call him R. There you go. And watch this, guys. His friend here doesn't do any of his bullshit that he does. R was a great guy. He has been my friend since high school, and he is a genius in his studies. He was good with everyone, but never really talked with her. I was both devastated and confused. I've been there for her for the last five months while my friend hasn't even talked with her. So how can she have a crush on him? Because he's mysterious. That's why. She doesn't know a whole lot about him. Because he's not throwing down his jacket so she doesn't get her feet wet over a goddamn puddle. Because he, if, if obviously they know each other, he doesn't treat her like a princess. You use the word princess. He doesn't tell her how beautiful she is. He's not there listening to all her problems. He's not showing up at her karate and taekwondo tournaments. He, you give her certainty. Remember, women are attracted to uncertainty. All right? And be also, because he's not chasing after like all the other guys, it drives her crazy. Because obviously she's good looking. And I can go on and on all the reasons why she likes him. After that, I knew it was over, because even though I was quick to fall for her, I had a mindset from the childhood that if a girl liked someone else, it was over. Good. You've redeemed yourself a little bit. So, I started watching your videos again and decided to work over myself. Hallelujah. So, you watch my videos, heard all that stuff, and you're like, ah, I understand this. I'm not going to do those things those guys do in those SSM videos. Then you meet a hot chick, and next thing you know... You're doing all the stupid bullshit that the guys do in the videos I tell you not to do. You realize this, and now you watch me again realizing the shit you fell for. Her, her tight little ass and her big boobs and her angelic smile and whatever other bullshit you said earlier. And now you're learning. I'm not physically attractive, and I am skinny. But my face is where I won a lottery. Dude, let's not get carried away. Okay, you got a good-looking face, but you're skinny. I have a blah, 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 but because of college, I wasn't able to take care of myself, and I had eye bags and acne. I started working out, sleeping well, eating healthy, and skin treatment. Good. You're taking care of yourself. That's what you should be doing instead of chasing after some chick. 
when the third year started, so we fast forwarded in history, I couldn't believe how much I improved. Um, my already good looking face improved even more and I had a toned body. Again, looks like it carried away with your facial features. Okay, you're hitting the gym, you're getting your body in shape, you're resting, eating well, and you're getting looking better physically. Good for you. Let's not let this go to your head, brother. He says, no eye bags or acne. I also changed my attitude as well. I started to hang out with only my best bros and became much like a Chad type of person who never gave any attention to women. There you go. Now, watch this, guys, how his life completely transforms because he stops chasing after girls and stops this friend zone crap and focuses on himself and his purpose and making something of himself as all young guys should do. I also remember that when I knew about her crush for my friend, after two weeks, she talked to me about how my friend never replies back to her and she said he was a jerk. In other words, when she re reaches out to him to message him for just for some dumbass reason, you know, Hey, I was just curious about that, or what are you up to? Or, hey, he just ignores her. Or maybe he might respond to her five days later. Drives her nuts. And she thinks he's a jerk. But, of course, how many times do you guys have heard girls call guys jerks? And next thing you know, they're sucking them off in the library. I told her she was wrong, and he is a very good person. Now, looking at the past, I think she knew my feelings towards her. Dude, she was 100% aware of your feelings towards her back in the day. She 100% knew and was more than happy to string you along and have, have you as a, her little puppy who would do anything for her, meanwhile chasing after other guys. That's what they do. And she tried this trick to see if I will throw my friend under the bus to get a chance with her. But my friendship with him was so strong, so I never liked anybody bad-mouthing him. Good for you for sticking up with your bro. Good for you for not like agreeing with her to try to win favor with her. That's what some guys would do, and it probably was a test. On the other hand, she asked my friend out, and he refused. That probably pissed her off. Something I saw coming for a long time. Because I know him very well, he never focused much on this thing and always put his work first. Hear that? Your friend probably watches my channel. Maybe you learn about my channel from your friend. Shout out to the friend here who doesn't put chase an ass first. He puts making of himself, something of himself in his school, in his studies, work, whatever. Notice, guys, that the guy who's focusing on school and himself, this chick's chasing after. But the guy who's making her his purpose, like this dude was here, she's not interested. Point of the whole story is make your grind, make your purpose, making yourself something, your priority, of course, for you first. And as a byproduct of that, as long as you're not 500 pounds and look like fucking Quasimodo, they'll be chasing after you. <clears throat> uh, he was very much focused on this thing, always put his work first. But after his refusal, you can guess who she approached. Me. Ah, imagine that. She was getting over his refusal for one month, and I think she saw the change in my behavior. The old simp me would have gone to her house to tell her it's okay and you're still amazing. But the new me didn't even look even look at her in, in, in our own classroom. Good, you're learning. And after two months, she approached me and asked why I don't spend time with her anymore. Exactly, because you learned. It's driving her crazy. I told her I had lots of things to worry about now. I wasn't wrong. At the time, I wasn't simping for her and now went to my studies, working out in self-improvement. I was getting great grades and a very healthy and stress-free life. Awesome, good for you, brother. Not spending all your time thinking about her and chasing her. You can focus more on your studies, do better in school, which is only going to help you in life. You're getting better sleep at night, and you're doing all this for you. You know, you're not doing this to get her back or get her interest. As a byproduct, now she's interested in you. And probably also, I have to wonder a little bit if some of that has to do with pursue you to see if the other guy will notice, but I think it's really because you've changed. My teachers, who always considered me a good kid, even were impressed by me. Good. Your professors are knowing. Your professors, if they're good ones, they can be good allies and references in the future when you're moving up in the world. She said they would be great if we spend time together like before. Trying to get you back in the friend zone. See? I refused and said I don't have time for her. You have changed, bro. Good for you. Now in the friends... Uh, now, when the friends get together and party, I was introduced to her friends differently. Before, I was introduced as a great friend. Now, I'm introduced as the guy who melts her heart. 
there you go. Now, it took time for her to see the new you. And don't get me wrong, there's going to be tests to see if you are the old you. I've actually tested you before trying to get you to come to her house or why don't we get to hang out. Her behavior completely changed towards me. She starts chasing me, trying to talk with me and even giving hints about you know what. Hmm, imagine that. Even though I've changed, I still had a thing for her and I had you know what with her 15 times. You sure about those 15 times, my man? You know the old joke that whatever number a girl gives, multiply times three because she's lying. She wants to keep the number low. And when a guy gives a number, divide it by three because he's exaggerating. So let's just say you hooked up with her five times. Even then, that's a win. She was now all over me even more than I was all over her in the second year. This is what happens when you focus on yourself and stop making the girls the center of the universe. R and I are still best friends, and she said that she doesn't mind me and him being friends. Well, her opinion doesn't matter, does it? Now that our last school is about to end, she asked me out. As in, like, being exclusive, I assume. I wanted to refuse, but I told her I need some time. So, you've been hooking up with her multiple times. We can debate the 15 times. But now she wants to make you exclusive. Well, remember, you can't turn a HOE into a housewife. Friends with benefits, as you obviously are, don't become girlfriend material. I'm in a tricky situation right now. Even though I was over with her, I still have a soft spot for her in my heart. I knew you did. Even though I'm now a cold loner type, I still have so much compassion in me. Which is why I'm asking you if I should take if I if I should take her. I think the answer is obvious, but hearing that answer from you will put a lot of weight on in on it. Thank you for hearing my story. Bro, I'm I'm going to cut to the chase and get right to the point cuz it's goddamn hot in this car. I know I'm not going to do the videos of my my condo. But the car is my thing, guys. No, do not date her. Do not be exclusive with her. She's not girl from material. I'm going to tell you a whole bunch of reasons. In no particular order, number one, you spend so much time chasing after her and friend trying to get her to be, through friendship, get her to be yours with the, the bullshit they show in movies, that I think if you start dating her and got in a relationship with her, real quick, you go right back to being the same guy you were in the beginning and she would lose interest and cheat on you or dump you, one of the two, and you get your heart broken. So that's a bad place to go. It's, it's not going to work. Number two, you've been hooking up with her because she's obviously trying to get you to date her, being exclusive with her, trying to win you over anyway by effing your brains out, and good for you for that, my man. That type of gal, that's not girl from material. No freaking way. Uh-uh. Next thing, she had the hots for your buddy, and I wouldn't want that as a girlfriend, knowing that she had the hots for my friend, he rejected her, so then she went on to me. Now, I'm sure she likes the new you, who makes his goals his, per, his top priority and it looks better physically and all that, but still, you were the number two choice. Nah, no thanks. So there's lots of reasons there. So bro, good job for turning shit around. Good job for learning. You had to learn the hard way. This girl you were like in love with, this angelic being sent down from heaven, from Jesus. You had, you had to learn to have her not be interested in you. And I, and I know that pain because I've been that dumbass friend zone guy back in my high school, college years. And I didn't know any better. I know that hurts when the girl you like likes somebody else who does the exact opposite of what you do because you think you're doing everything right. But uh, you learn not to be that way. Good for you. And I want you going forward to continue focusing on your studies, your grind, your purpose, things that you enjoy, all that. And if you keep hooking up with this girl casually, so be it. Wear fucking protection. Do not buy I'm on the pill. Provide your protection. Dispose your protection. And if any girl ever says to you, I'm pregnant, it's yours. Uh, DNA test. But do not, no, she's not girl from material. Don't waste your freaking time. And you're going to be graduating any time now. I mean, hell, it's the middle of June, so I, I would assume you graduated by now. Or maybe you meant the end of next year. I don't know. No. Move on. End of story. Don't be, on, don't be friends with her on social media. Just, you, you can always look back at this chick is the one that helped you, in a way, become RP'd. To help you learn that the narrative of being the, the super nice guy doesn't work. You know, your, your, your buddy clearly understands that. Neither he learned the hard way, that's just who he is. So, bro, good job turning yourself around. I still think uh, some of that nice guy is still in there deep down, but you can be this type of guy that puts yourself first and is on your grind, your purpose, and doesn't do this friendship bullshit and still a good guy. I don't want you to become an asshole, okay? Find the delic find the balance there and you'll be fine. But anyway guys, 
Let me know in the comment section what you think. Tell, I believe you all tell him the same thing I told him. Don't get involved with this girl. And we can go from there. And be sure to like the video, share with your friends, and subscribe. I'll catch you next time.